When we speak about playing from memory, especially for exams and performances, it seems like a standard practice. And it's also a scary part about playing the piano. Just think about Bach's four-part fugues for the exams. But did you know that the tradition of memorizing the music didn't always exist? In fact, in Bach's time, during the Baroque period, the musician didn't really need to play from memory. In the Baroque period, music had a very different role, especially in the spiritual context like in the church. And the musician didn't need to memorize the music, instead they were often improvising. For example, basso continuo was often not written out and the performer had to add harmonies on the spot. And playing from sheet music was actually seen as a respect for the composer whose work we are performing, uh, proving that you're not improvising but playing what's written in the composition. A very important thing about the Baroque period was that the focus was not on the performer, but on the piece itself, and it was also viewed as a spiritual offering. In the classical period, we begin to notice a change. While improvisation was still important, for example, for concerto cadences, or there were even some improvisations battles between the pianists and composers, um, the focus is more on structure and form, and it was also not uncommon that, for example, Mozart was playing the concerts consisting out of his works from memory. Very interesting detail is, though, that a lot of compositions were finished right before the performance. So sometimes they would finish the score at night and the performance was early morning. For me, it's, it's a mystery how some of the complex works were performed with barely any preparation and actually on the very high level in front of an audience. The ability to sight read and to perform in front of an audience under such a pressure was extraordinary and we see that the expectations of the performance were totally different as we have them now. In the same time it was still common to perform with a score in front of you but it all changes in the Romantic period. By the Romantic era, with composers like Chopin and Liszt, the piano performance had completely transformed. Now it was not only about playing the notes in the score, but about the emotional expression and personal interpretation. So the concert became more about the connection of the performer and the audience, and the memorization played a huge role in it. And performers like Liszt established a new tradition of playing from memory. It was like a showmanship. And the audience was not expecting, not only expecting to hear this composition, but also to see the pianist um, engage with this music and have a deeper connection to this and to see a show. So this is why playing from memory became such an important thing during these times and stayed until now, because it helped the performer to express his feelings, his or her feelings, and to make a better connection to the composition. So even if it's not written, for example, by Liszt, maybe he was playing a Chopin piece, he had to identify himself with this composition. He had to become one with this composition in order to express feelings and to give his interpretation of, of this work to the audience. In the modern pieces, in the contemporary music, very often we have a chance, or we are allowed, to use the score because it's so complex and so difficult that the composers are not expecting you to play it from memory. But it's up to you, of course. So, as you see in the Baroque time, I would say the focus was on improvisation and on your freedom with the music score. In the classical music it was also about the ability to sight read and to be very fast in learning new compositions and performing them the next day. And the Romantic era really established this tradition of playing from memory. So please share your thoughts about playing from memory, whether it scares you or you agree with this tradition. 
and you like to play even Bach's work from memory? I would love to read it in the comments. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.